screaming in the middle. And now I'm going to have nightmares. So today, you're going to be reacting to a band from the 70s. Uh, that's a while ago. The band is called Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden? What? Iron Maiden. I like Iron, but I never heard of Maiden. Oh, I've heard of that. I feel like I've heard of it. It sounds good. Well, this is rock. It's not bad so far. Is this a girl? It's getting more fast paced. Definitely a lot of rock and roll. Yeah, I like it. I'm not a fan. They're not yelling, so it's not that bad. The guitar person is really good at it. The ending part was crazy. That was good. I like it. The little drum solo part at the end. Spot on. This one is like slower. This is interesting. It's weird. I have no clue what this is. I mean, I don't like it, but I like it better than the first one. Okay, this part is really crazy because he's like just screaming. Why do they have to have the screaming in the background? What does it say? Six, six, six. I like this. I like the beat. Mine? I like the guitar part. It's very, very rock and roll. I can still see how people would like it. I just don't like it. That was nice. But crazy! He was like screaming in the middle. You'll take my life, but I'll Jesus, that started so fast. Musket, but I'll run you through. This one has yelling too. Much more dramatic. You better stand, there's no turning back. For some reason it sounds different from the other ones. I'm guessing that this song's probably about like war. He's singing about violence and shooting each other with muskets on a battlefield. I like it. I like it, but what's with the lyrics? It's all yelling about, like, dis death, destruction. I liked it. I like fast songs. All of these songs are dramatic. I, uh, I, I kind of think I'm done for dramaticness. I like them so far. Are they still going on today? I like the guitar part again. Sounds nice. That okay, sounds like the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> oh, this one's really fast. I don't know what they're saying anymore. He's speaking super duper fast. I can't understand him. I find this to be too fast in the tempo. I like the song very much. This is like heavy metal. Like, like he screams, but he sings at the same time. I just really just like this. I mean, it's, uh, this one I don't like as much. I think it's just like too heavy maybe. Crazy, and I like it. He has like a rashy voice, but it sounds good. I like how fast it was. If you didn't see, I was shaking my legs a lot. Oh, I like this. Whoa, that's a good guitarist. I like the beat so far. 
It's like many guitar solos. It just seems like a regular rock song. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this band or heard any of the songs. I mean, the tune's not bad. His voice is actually pretty good. I like it. I like the sound and how they say stuff. It's really loud. I like it. I think the only thing I'm having trouble with is like how when he sang it and the lyrics. Not a fan. I'm sorry, Iron Maiden fans, but like, I don't really like this. I am a man who walks alone. This one's slow. This is slow. I don't like slow. At night or strolling through the park. Okay. This sounds like an old man gone insane. Fear of the dark. Fear of the dark. I feel like he's scared of something or something. I have a phobia that someone's always there. What the? That's pretty scary. It's like it goes slow and then fast at the beginning. Super calm. Now, it's wild music. The tune's not bad, I guess. I definitely know what the song's name is. It's probably Fear of the Dark. What? If he's afraid of the dark, why don't you just get like a night light or something? That was nice and wild. That is a very good Halloween song. Another slow one. Slow again. Guessing it's gonna get fast. I like how he like sings and then bam bam. Okay, these words don't make sense. I like the guitar part again, though. Whoever plays the drum for this song is really good. It's pretty good. Out of all the songs, I think this one might be my favorite. I don't really like the songs. I just don't really like rock songs. I liked it, it was nice. They are very, 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 very good. Not a fan of the lyrics or the singer, but I really like the person who's playing the guitar. So now we're gonna show you a collage of some of the artwork that the band uses as album covers and to promote their various concerts and tours, and here they are. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, no wonder they say we love the dark. That one fits with the dark. Whoa, that's cool. Iron Mates, if you're watching, you did a good job. Those are some pretty interesting album covers. These almost seem like Halloween posters or something. Ah, I can see that. And now I'm going to have nightmares. Great. That's really creepy. Look at all these pictures. There's some dead body. It's really creepy. The deadly uh, name of them, and there's kind of a bit deadly in their songs kind of matches with their pictures. It looks like the skulls are just trying to stare into my soul and say, buy this album. So Iron Maiden has 16 studio albums, 11 live albums, seven compilation albums, 19 video albums, and the list goes on and on. Really? Oh my God, that's a lot for one band. So they're actually still making new music and touring to this day. So what do you think about how fans of Iron Maiden could follow their career for over 40 years. That's crazy. 40 years. Okay, my dad might have heard of them. 40 years? Wow! How old are they? Like 92 or something? They have some pretty loyal fans. It's a long time and a lot of songs. If I was a fan, I would be super happy. Their favorite singer's alive! Yay! Iron Maiden has been very successful for a very long time. However, compared to a lot of other really successful bands, they're not really played much on the radio or TV when they were getting their start. So what do you think about how they can be successful for such a long time without that kind of help? Well, I mean, if they're making business, they're making business, and I guess it's cool to be successful. A little band that sings, like, whatever's trendy still makes it on the radio, but they're more successful, but they 
they don't get put on the radio. You should be played on the radio if a lot of people like you. You should be grateful for the fans you already got, but you want more people to hear your music because you want to know how they react to your music. I think that's awesome that one little band that the radio and television doesn't play at all can have that big of a fan base. Thanks for watching another episode of Kids React. Subscribe for new episodes almost every day. Take them to the Iron Maiden. Bye. Hey guys, I'm Ethan. And I'm Austin, and we're part of the team here at FBE. We reacted to a lot of bands with the kids, but there's still more to do, so you gotta let us know which ones you wanna do next in the comments. Bye guys.